Hello and welcome to episode five of the Epic Game Enders podcast. Today uh, just... uh, we're we're missing McQuell Johnson. So uh, today we're we're missing McQuell, but uh, we got uh, we got Epic Ninja here. Hi. We got Pumpkin King. Hi. And we got our our guest for today, Indominus Rex. Woohoo! I have crippling depression. <laughs> <laughs> same here, brother. Same Wait, here. Hey, why do you think we started this podcast? <laughs> oh yeah, this is because a couple not... of depressed. This is people. just a group for depressed people. Yeah. Then uh, I'll be right at home here, then. Yep. Oh yeah. So, uh, st- we, starting out, we all I... collect stupid toys. So yeah. <laughs> starting out, I, some I, have... of it's, I know some of his trains. <laughs> Okay, so starting out, I, I apologize for uh, roasting you so hard, Indominus, in my Pumpkin King diss track. Yeah, yeah, I really went what? in there. What Pumpkin King diss track? He didn't see it. Oh no. Oh no, okay. Kib. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna... No, just no, gonna no, just read off that. the line. Alright, the, read the, off the line, you the line is, why are all your friends into dinosaurs, man? They fancying themselves some Argonians. I don't get it. Argonians are a lizard race in Skyrim. I don't play Skyrim. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Just the awkward silence, are <laughs> yeah. you? <laughs> awkward. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I, I guess we'll start out with, uh... What are your thoughts on Pumpkin King's childish love and passion for trains and Thomas? I, I have no clue how to feel because I've got no idea how old Pumpkin King is. He, he oh, he's be... 15. <laughs> hey, yeah, you just, just doxed He's just him. doxing his age right off the bat. You just doxed my age right there. I was about to say, if Pumpkin King was 6, I would accept that. <laughs> but if it was any age, I would not. Ten, I'd instantly reject him. Yep. I guess I'll have to instantly reject you for liking dinos. That's a man. At least dinosaurs are better than liking dinos in terms of tank engine. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, by the, by the way, board. Pumpkin King, when's Engines of Sodor episode 2 coming out? Um, sooner or later. <laughs> uh, I, I, I lost the bet where I said if, we, if my video gets a... I have to make an Engines of Sodor Part 2, so I guess I'm kind of stuck there now. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, uh, next next up, what's it like working with Zane Reborn and his, like, Movies United and stuff like that? Uh, it, 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 it's okay, I guess. I don't really get any, I don't really get that many lines from now because I'm not really in that many of the episodes, mm-hmm. but I'm going to be in one of his new shows, and... I don't, I, I don't really know what to think of it, because even though, even though Nelly being his voice actor for nearly two years now, I think. Yeah. Oh. I, I know, depressing. Yeah. And... <laughs> it's been a year for me, so... I, I, don't, I, I don't know exactly what it's like, because, be, it, because it's just like a friend asking you to do a favor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of is like that. for two years. Mm-hmm. A favor. favor for two years now, yeah. How, and then like, <laughs> been a long favor, eh? Then, and then when you ask him to do a favor, he just um he says he'll get around to it, <laughs> <laughs> like getting on this podcast. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> mostly that. <laughs> so uh, back when you were voice acting for him more often, how often would you usually like say your lines? Uh, I'd normally send for lines like uh, a few days, if not if. If, if not a week after you send for lines, I normally send them the day after. Yeah. Like, how, yeah. how often would you, would he send you the lines? He sent me every week or two weeks or so, but he's been slowing down because, of course, he has more voice actors and, yeah. and his shows are becoming less common, um, becoming longer to produce because there's more voice actors to put in. He's putting more effort in and he's got, and he's just finishing school, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. He's in, he just started school, college. Has he? Yeah, he he said that he's um in animation school. Oh yeah, how did I forget that? 
<laughs> so, I have uh, a memory of every... fucking goldfish. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Uh. So, uh, how did you meet Zane Reborn in the first place? Well, I remember. It was this episode of Movies United. I, I think it was the season final of of chapter one. Oh, it had the like thumbnail of Star. It, it had the thumbnail of Star Scream, and I and I was really into Transformers at the time. I still am, mm -hmm. and 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 I clicked on it because I love Transformers, and, and 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 I just watched the episode. I didn't really like it. That's <laughs> It's uh, I, and I got curious and I rewatched the whole entire chapter and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. Oh okay, so you just didn't like the episode specifically. And and, oh, and he, then he... I commented on this video saying, "Hey, I would really like to be one of your voice actors." <laughs> <laughs> and he did, then his and, eyes and, lit and, up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he didn't respond and I responded to that comment with. Hey, hey, you didn't give me the response for the voice acting, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, and, and he messaged me and he told me to email him. So, yes, Zane Reborn has my email account. Oh, no, I don't know no. whether to be happy or scared. And, <laughs> and, and, and now, ever since that email, I now send him the, the, the lines in in unlisted videos, which I uh, which I upload to videos unlisted. Hey, at least you're better than Pumpkin King, just making public <laughs> videos. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, like, 80% of the voice actors just upload their voices uh, uh, publicly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and, and no, spoilers. I'm here I'm here for the fans, man. They want to <laughs> see, like, the little sneak peeks. And I don't <laughs> mind giving them a sneak peek. Uh. Yeah, no one asked for it. We're asking for you to get rid of it, huh? Uh, well, I mean, that's what I did. I started sending them over Discord. Yeah. Wait, really? I'm so sad. So, go going back to what you said about liking Transformers, who's your favorite Transformer? It would either have to be Grimlock, or... <laughs> or either Soundwave or Megatron. Okay. All I can think about when you say Grimlock is your voice going Grimlock smash. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember doing that, I, and I remember my impression being absolutely horrible. Thing is, I didn't really want to do the impression, but Zemi Born said I can voice him, and I took the opportunity, and I found out, and I found out I am really bad at a Grimlock impression. I thought it was. I thought it was, when I when I first heard your voice, and when I binge watched the series. I thought you were um, a little older than you are. Why? How did you? How old did you think I was? No, I thought you were like about Zane's age, which is like sixteen, seventeen. I'm pretty sure Zane's eighteen, and and and, and he's I'm... eighteen now. Hmm. And I'm fourteen, and I'm going through, and I'm going through a midlife crisis already. So. <laughs> Yippee. Oh, don't That's worry. Weird. When I was 14, I was going through a midlife crisis with trains. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that in your Thomas and Friends short Earth Chan. Do I want a girlfriend or do I want trains? Sadly, I went down the darker route. <laughs> 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 but let, let me say, you can't leave the station now. Toot, toot. That, that was a great joke. <laughs> that was epic. I like it. I like it. So, uh, what what do you think about being in like in a the Zane Reborn community? Uh, it, I I I don't know exactly how to feel because most of them are filled with eight to six year olds just wanting <laughs> fucking Thomas videos. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dude. I'm I'm mm -hmm. I'm yeah, about to make a King. video about that and i asked zane to actually send me some lines about talking about like his incidents so mm -hmm. he's gonna do that soon yeah pumpkin king sent me uh showed me uh on his like i'm blue video or something somebody commenting why isn't thomas in the video he's blue yes the, yes uh, I, I'm I, blue. I remember that comment very well <laughs> And then there's that one time where that one commenter um almost made Zane Reborn stop uploading. <laughs> yeah. Uh. 
Wait, what was the comment? Uh, I think I don't remember. Uh -oh. Do you remember Indominus? Like, there was that whole controversy. No, I can't remember exactly. Controversy in the Zane Reborn community. <laughs> it was like I think I think it was like during the summer, and he was like, "Dude, this guy, he's been bullying me, and I just feel really down right now." I think about not uploading. Uh. Hey, Pumpkin King. Yeah. I, I I don't know if you were here for this, but were you there on the occasion on one of Zamy Bourne's streams when somebody was threatening to kill themselves? Oh boy. Yeah, um, pretty sure it wasn't that, uh, dude, I don't want to say his name, but I'm pretty sure I remember, because I remember one kid, he gave out his address during one of the live streams, and I had to delete it. Really? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, when, when was that? <laughs> oh, it was back in, like, spring I, time. I don't remember that. That's, that would have been, that's, yeah, that's bad. All I just Pretty bad. It, yeah. At the very most, all I just all I ah, all I remember is somebody saying, "I am home alone." At the very most. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess good thing all of his fans are like eight years old, because good thing nobody like swatted him or anything. <laughs> FBI, open up! It was, it was also during a live stream, and so it was. Hmm. Well, it was a little easier. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Indominus, how did you get into dinosaurs? I've been into dinosaurs f from a very, very young age. I remember watching Dinosaur King, if any of you guys remember that. I think I may have heard of that. Dinosaur I've, I've watched King. that f from a very young age, and, 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 and I have this friend who did as well, and... and and me and him just take the mickey out of it these days, we just make fun of how terrible the intro was. <laughs> I do not remember Dinosaur King, but I do remember a show called Dinosaur Train. <laughs> I remember oh, Dinosaur no, Train! No, no. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Is that the Zane Reborn community's favorite show? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's Thomas the Tank Engine because most of them won't shut up about it. Oh, okay. Because it combines their two favorite things. I, I also that, that actually is genius, man. Yeah. That should be their yeah. favorite show. I, I don't. Did Zane like, Reborn make that show? Like, it's kind of what I was thinking, man. Like I don't know. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite dinosaur then? Okay, I'm going to sound like a complete nerd saying this because I know none of you have ever heard of it. it it's called a Gigan. It's called a Giganotosaurus. Okay. Okay, you were right. Never heard of it. Oh, what what does it look <laughs> like? Here, wait, how do you spell that? G I G. What's your favorite dinosaur -N -N would be the Indominus Rex. It's not a real dino, but. Oh, uh, I think I found it. Hey. Okay. Oh, that's that's pretty interesting, I guess. What does it look like? Uh, it I don't is, know if this it, is the right thing. I'll put a picture of what I found in the Discord. Oh, okay. Uh, that a older version of a... Uh, f f that is a older, inaccurate version, but yes, you've got the right dinosaur. Okay. I see. Alright. No, it, I got I got a question. In Jurassic Park, I think everyone knows raptors don't didn't actually look like that. Mm -hmm. So, what's your opinion on that? Uh, I I don't really care because I've watched plenty behind the scenes and lodge behind it, and they called it Velociraptor because there weren't really any raptors at the time that were the same size as the actual raptors, so they named it Velociraptor. But during the movie's production, they found. Uh, uh, while they were filming it, a, a new raptor was found called a Utah raptor, which was around about the same size as ones in the movie. Hmm. And I do, and I and I don't know how far they were into production, but I know they were very close to finishing, and they didn't have enough time to go go back and reshoot everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's why. Huh. Mm-hmm. 
Do you ever wonder yeah, why they haven't fixed that in the modern movies? Probably just because that's what it was like in the old movies. They didn't want to change it. Mm. And the and fact is, is that the is that the general public still holds on to these massive, scaly reptiles. Meanwhile, all dinosaurs had some kind of feathers on them or some sort of quills. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Theorize that either the T Rex has feathers or quills or, or, or quills going from the going from the back of its head down down to the pick of its tail. Huh. It's interesting stuff. Actually interesting. You guys didn't understand what I just said, didn't you? No, no. Um, no, really. no, he's saying that the T Rex has feathers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it and another thing that most people get wrong about dinosaurs is, is one of the smallest things is that their wrists, at least with most dinosaurs like the raptors, their wrists aren't going down like the dinosaur you see in this picture. Most of them are to the side. Uh -huh. be be because to have their hands like that, they would have to completely dislocate their hands to do that. Oh, okay. What's your, uh, what's the most annoying misconception about dinosaurs that people have? Ooh, that is really hard because there is a <laughs> lot of them. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. This is one that really gets me triggered. Pterodactyls. Those, those flying because, things from know, Dinosaur like... Train. <laughs> 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 Because uh, I don't know if you guys know or not, but pterodactyl was never real. Really? Wait, really? Yeah, I think I knew. I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, it was never real. Wait, what? I heard about Ooh. that from you guys. Pterodactyl was never real. Instead, there were plenty of flying reptiles like Pteranodon. And when people when people mostly see pictures of Pteranodon, they go, "Ooh, pterodactyl," because the name pterodactyl comes with comes from this smaller flying reptile called, called a pterodactyl -less. Hmm. And in this version, it's much smaller. It would be like the size of an average puppy. Hmm. And I think it's... I, I don't really know that much on the Hunter pterosaur name scandal thing. I don't really care about it. Hmm. Definitely gets me triggered. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, so where does the misconception about the uh, pterodactyls come from? Was it from like a movie or something? I don't know, be it, it, because I haven't really researched in this topic. I haven't really heard much about it. Mm. Sounds like a good book report, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. It, 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 because the fact is, is that most people still think that all flying reptiles were still one thing. It, 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 be, because cause, cause when I ask people what favorite dancer is, most of them say the flying one, the pterodactyl. Yeah. Mm. Don't uh, tell me the stegosaurus isn't real. That's my favorite. <laughs> Don't tell me the T Rex ain't real. That'd make me cry. I I wish I could say that because I bloomin' hate the T Rex. Yo, you won't fight. <laughs> <laughs> And yet you like being dumb, this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I have to say here, I don't exactly hate the T Rex. I think okay. it's a decent dinosaur. I don't think all it's right. worth all Do the pace it has. Is it like overrated? Is that why you hate it? Definitely. Hmm. Because most people look up to it and see it as the king of the dinosaurs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, there were other dinosaurs which were bigger. But the thing is, the T-Rex had the hardest, well, ugh, I mean, had the strongest jaw pressure of a creature to, uh, of at least a land creature to ever exist. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, because mm -hmm. it's got little arms, so it's got to be somewhere it gets its prey. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think as soon as you mention it, the entire hand thing actually links in to how strong its jaw is. Hmm. Because the fact is, it had to sacrifice its hands and how big they were to sort of gain how strong its bite was. Oh. That, that's a simple way of saying it for you noobs. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we dino noobs. Yeah, we're just <laughs> dino noobs. <laughs> too, too, too noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so next, uh, do you like Star Wars? I, I used to hate Star Wars, but. But, but when the Force Awakens came out, I actually watched them, and I thought it was decent. Okay. My dad... Okay. So scratch my off dad... that entire part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, we're, we're pretty big Star Wars fans, so, like, the question we've been asking on the podcast is, what are what's your favorite Jedi, your favorite Sith, and your favorite non-Force user? Oh, my favorite Jedi... It would either have to be Luke or Mace Windu. Okay, thank the oh, lord. Okay. I thought you were going to okay. say Rey. I thought you were going to say Rey, yeah. I was going to cry. <laughs> Hell no, screw Rey. Exactly. This Welcome guy to knows, the, this guy knows to the podcast. He knows how the world works, man. And, and and as for my favorite Sith, uh, uh, as for a joke answer, I'd have to say Emperor Palpatine, maybe because of all the memes that came out of the prequels. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And you're saying um, um, my favorite is actually Palpatine. Yeah, that's what I was really about to say. <laughs> Palpatine is weak. No, not really, but he's got unlimited power, man. Unlimited power. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you, mate. I feel you. A and he is the Senate. Just... He, he is, is the Senate. Senate. That's true. That's true. And and as for my actual and as for my actual favorite Sith, I would have to say General Grievous. He's not oh, a Sith, Sam. exactly. But Caleb, Caleb, calm. From a certain point of view. <laughs> From a certain point of view, the, the Jedi are evil. But but that's that's pretty nice because uh, General Grievous happens to be my favorite Star Wars character. Really? Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I think it's in, in a friend in, uh, a friend I've met over the internet. He he is a really big G General Grievous fan as well. <laughs> nice. Kib seems to be taking over. I see. Over. He's a man of culture as well. Even though he spends gotta... ninety, even though he spends ninety percent, even though he spends ninety percent of his time screaming into his microphone. Oh, oh. that's not very epic. Right, this is going to be a life or death um, question for our relationship as friends. Uh, clone army or droids? Uh. I think it's, I haven't really watched the prequels. Mm. Uh. My head, I would have to say, clones. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude! We were about to. I was about to start screaming, man. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm a die-hard Clone Wars guy, and uh, so the clones. <laughs> <laughs> he said clones because technically, according to the prequels. Boba Fett is a clone, and Boba oh. Fett is is yeah. is hands down my favorite Star Wars character. Okay, okay oh, that was okay. the next question. Yeah. That was the next question we were gonna ask. Who's your favorite regular <laughs> character? And you just got my answer. Yep. Yep. All right. You uh, have to spend time asking. So I guess Star I have to Wars. Ask, what, what no more Star Wars questions. Oh, uh, I, was, I was just gonna ask what his favorite Star Wars movie was. Okay. Yeah. yeah that last one. Cool. Last one. I know my dad's favorite is Rogue One because my dad is a really big Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. I'm torn. I'm torn in between Empire Strikes Back and Rogue One. Empire okay. Strikes Back is my favorite of the original trilogy. It's just because you're a normie. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Everybody's like, that's the best one because it's got the best plot. Yeah, shut up. Revenge of the Sith. That's honestly... That's, <laughs> said of the no, I said trilogy. of the original trilogy. You're so stupid. I thought you okay. knew that. Revenge okay, of the then, Sith yeah, yeah, favorite. that's probably the best one. That's probably You're the best stupid, one. Pumpkin King. I am, I'm Pumpkin King. I'm, I'm dumb. Yeah. Anakin, yeah. I have the high ground. Oh, yeah. You underestimate Don't. my power. Don't try it. Right, that's enough quotes. We can stop that's there. enough prequel yeah. quotes. We gotta get to more uh, questions. More important questions. The important as <laughs> the most important question of the podcast: What are your opinion on dinosaur chicken nuggets? 
<laughs> what? Wait, do you not have you dinosaur say... chicken nuggets? In the state? Did you in just the... say dinosaur chicken nuggets? Yeah. yeah. You don't. You don't know of them. Am I the only one who, who picks up the irony in that name? <laughs> Dinosaur and chicken nuggets. Because the fact is, chickens are descendants from dinosaurs. Bam! I, yes. I, 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 pay, I, put, I pasted a picture of dinosaur chicken nuggets in the chat. Oh Who had dinosaur God. chicken nuggets? They're pretty big in the states. Dude, I, I actually had big. dinosaur chicken nuggets for lunch, ironically. You actually? Well, yeah. I'm British. S well, I'm British, so 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 that's probably why I've never seen these before. But this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, and this is how we bring dinosaurs back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. At least. I mean, like screw. I'm. I'm. I. I'm. I mean, like screw cloning. Dinosaur chicken nuggets all the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's no. I mean, di dinosaurs, to... chickens, they're the same thing. Mhm. Mm they look alike, at least. Hey, I got a, I got a question now. So, do you like the official Jurassic World brand uh, Hasbro licensed dinosaurs, or do you prefer like kind of off-brand, like just regular plain old dinosaurs? choose in between Hasbro's garbage dinosaur line from 2015. Or, oh, I, I don't know if they're garbage. Or, or actual good figures. Hmm. It's a hard choice. <laughs> I, Ooh, I, I guess it's a pretty broad statement. Be. Like, I I mean, it's like, uh, like just regular dino figures like that you might find at like the dollar store or something. The dollar store. The dollar Poundland. Store. Poundland. The you might find that story. Poundland. Oh, nothing but that. That's really hard because the dinosaurs are found at pound. The dinosaurs that I find at Poundland are absolutely horrible. Ooh. A really good question. Why am I struggling on this one? <sighs> I would have to say Hasbro's garbage cho toys, because at least they're connected to a brand that I love. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, wouldn't that make it kind of worse? Because they're kind of ruining your favorite brand? Yeah, they're tarnishing your favorite brand. Hey, 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 as long as the movies are good, I don't care. Oh, oh okay. Speaking okay. of that, how did you like Fallen Kingdom? I know a lot of, like, not diehard ones, not diehard um, Jurassic Park fans did not like it. Ah, uh, I thought, well, I thought Fallen Kingdom was decent, it could have been better, it could have been way worse as well. So mm -hmm. it was just average. Mm-hmm. Be because one of the main things to bring up is how it's clearly trying to be like a fun summer blockbuster like those Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's what a lot of films are trying to do. Probably just because the Marvel movies are the doing Star so good right now. A lot of the Star Wars movies are kind of acting like the, that. Yeah, the new ones are trying to do that too, so... Maybe the they fun. look very badly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's to hoping that they somehow fix this trilogy with episode 9. Yep. I'm Do, you like, that yeah. too. Do you like Chris Pratt, though? Yeah, if, he's hot. If, first of all, yes, <laughs> I like Chris Pratt. And second of all, I think Star Wars episode 9 will be good because it's going to be directed by J.J. Abrams, and I trust J.J. Abrams. Okay. Hey, Star mm -hmm. Trek, remember. He, mm -hmm. he made the new Star Trek movies. I'm hoping at least. But, but I'm hoping. Is I've never really watched those Star Trek movies. Me neither. Though my dad really likes yeah. Star Trek. Mm -hmm. The the only real work I've seen from him was the original Cloverfield. But apart from that, I haven't really seen any. Hmm. So, do you like Chris Pratt better in the Jurassic World movies or in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Like his character or whatever. Okay. If you prefer just... Owen or Star Lord. 
Yeah. yeah. I just I, I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy two this morning, and I have to say, Star Lord is on a whole other level than than Owen, <laughs> because because because. Owen has an actual characteristic. He actually, he actually has an actual character arc. He has something to him. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, does... Owen, and Star-Lord the most blandest character. action heroes I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. And Star-Lord actually has a character, and Owen's the blandest action hero you've ever seen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you like the... You kind of said Owen for both. Yeah. Do do you like the old Jurassic Park movies or the new Jurassic World movies better? Uh, the thing is, there's only been two of the new trilogies so far, so I'm going to judge them like that. Mm-hmm. Be- because of the first three movies, I absolutely adore the first one. Yeah, the, the I only absolutely... ones I've seen is the first one and the first Jurassic World. <laughs> I, I, I adore the first one. I pers- I absolutely love the Lost World. I personally think that's the most underrated movie of all time. Mm. And and I think Jurassic Park 3 is decent. It's Jurassic not as Park bad 3. as everybody says it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's an onto the new trilogy. There's Jurassic World, where, which I thought was good. And and I absolutely loved it when it first came out. I went to see it four times. Oh wow! I know. I used to think it was the best one until I rewatched the original. Mm-hmm. And and as I said earlier about Fallen Kingdom, it's just a whole blend and blur of meh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So they they are going to be making a third Jurassic World movie. Characters have already been confirmed for it. Like, uh, Ian Malcolm has already been confirmed. Bryce Dallas, of course, uh, Ian Malcolm's going to be confirmed for a comeback. Ellie has been confirmed for, for a comeback. And there's rumors that Alan will, will appear in the next one. Mm. Mm. So, do you think I... the third one could be uh, better than the second one and the first one? Oh, well, yeah, I do, because. Um... Oop, nope, you go. Because, according to Contravaro, this is the film that he's always wanted to make, and I see that Contravaro can be a good director. Okay. I I see potential in him. Mm -hmm. All I think, all I think that, all I think is that every director needs is all that they need a story that that they really want to tell, and a story that that they love to make it good. Mm, yeah. And from what I've heard and from what I've seen, Contravaro s- is, s- seems to be really proud of of, in, of the new script and story for Just World Three. So, I f- so I think it's going to be good. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. So, when did you create your channel? Ooh, when did I create it? It feels like I've been doing this for years, but I've only been doing it for two. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I'm pretty sure I checked your channel yesterday, and you started it in 2016. Oh, you've always had your name as Indominus Rex, then. Yeah, I've always had my name as Indominus Rex one because because before I started the channel, I wanted to start it with this friend of mine. Me and him aren't friends anymore because he left me for dead. Oh, oh man. Okay. And for my reason, I name myself from Domstrex Zero One is so I can at least have one of the things that we planned out to do become true. So mm-hmm. what what was the channel going to be called before uh, you had a falling out? I guess you could say. It it, it was still going to be called in Domstrex Zero One. That okay. was that was the name that was the name ever since the beginning. And now I highly regret it. I see. So are you yeah. thinking about changing the name of your channel? Oh, I really it's want like, to change um, the name. Like, Velocity did? Yeah. My, some context, My when I created my channel, my channel's name was Captain Oranges. Oh, wait. And after being on YouTube for like a year and a half, I decided to change it to Velocity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> used to do Lego hey, guns. I already, I already have the possible name for it, which is Gigazone. 
And the thing is, I cannot be bothered to go for the entire action of changing my name to Gigazone. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. No, I got you and me, we share a very common downfall, Indominus. So whenever you look up um, Indominus Rex on YouTube, you get the dinosaur Jurassic Roll clips. But when you look up Pumpkin King on YouTube, you get Nightmare Before Christmas clips. We're both <laughs> suffering from movies taking our names. Hey, hey, I whenever when my channel is Captain Oranges, when you'd look up Captain Oranges, annoying orange would come up. And also <laughs> this guy named Captain Orange. Oh yeah, there was another guy that was named Captain Oranges or Captain Orange. No, it was whatever. just Orange, Captain Orange, and he yeah, made his channel Yeah, he made like Minecraft you, videos so... or something. So you got you you were getting mad that he stole your channel name. Oh yeah, I, I remember that. Back when I was yeah, like I 10 remember that too. <laughs> I got triggered and was like, because but of... I have more subs than you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's what the guy said. Yeah, and then he stopped uploading. And now his content sucks. Like mine. Well, yeah, because he stopped uploading. Mm -hmm. yeah, talk about okay. if you're talking about velocity, that's also true. Yeah, I stopped uploading for like nine months, which was pretty epic. No, his content's still trash, though. It still yeah. It's always been trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. He just agrees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, hopefully I've got a banger coming out soon. <laughs> Never gonna the, happen. The, the, uh, the video. Documentary on Pumpkin King. Hopefully what? that's gonna be pretty epic. <laughs> Ba basically, right now, I just make parody videos, so I'm gonna do, like, a documentary parody or something, and it's gonna be on <laughs> Pumpkin King, so hopefully that's gonna be pretty epic. Yeah, I'll watch it. Oh, yeah. You it's better than a Roblox content. Yep. To make Roblox uh, videos. Yeah. Oh my god, I just killed somebody in Roblox Fortnite. Top 10 fails. Yeah. Epic. Hey, at, le at least I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, we were we were doing um fake role plays. Yeah, just just cancer role plays. It, it's oh man. What do you mean? We're meeting that four, yeah. AG for Okay, role? yeah, that that was funny. We we were playing uh we were just recording Roblox playing uh some role playing game. And there was this, like, kid that claimed he was 14, and he was just so edgy, and it, it was hilarious. He was, like, <laughs> swear- he was swearing, yeah, trying he was, to act like he's older. He, he kept, like, swearing by putting, like, the, uh, he'd do, like, F and then two stars and then K. Yeah, it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> it, it was- it was-, it, was it sounds funny. hilarious. Yeah. It, it was. You, you have to watch the video. We gotta get oh, another yes. view. One more view. One, one more <laughs> dying channel. Get another, get another half a cent of ad revenue. An he doesn't even have ads, yeah. though. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Remembering the old days Rip when... monetization. It was monetized for a couple months, and then they updated it so he couldn't get ads. Yeah, they made it so you have to have a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Uh, get 4,000 views. Will we not be McLea? Yeah. So, you're at 1.5, right? Yep. And my channel is as dead as a doornail. Yeah, that's... It's like Zane Reborn! Sucks. Yep. So, uh, what type of content are you thinking about making in the future? You're just gonna keep doing dinosaur stuff? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely still keeping to the dinosaur stuff. Are you gonna? Do you have any like series you're gonna make? Uh, I have one in the progress that I'm making. It is called Prehistoric Planet. Mm. What's it gonna be I about? Have basically, because in the community that I'm in, we have this whole entire genre of dinosaurs. Uh, basically, a dinosaur documentary on an island. Alright. I'm sort of taking my concept and changing it into basically. We are on a different planet, oh boy. dominated, oh, okay. do dominated by what resemble dinosaurs, and we oh. sent drones up there to document their lives. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's that's pretty okay, cool. cool. 
Yeah. So you just gotta have a bunch of figures outside in your backyard with the, your camera hovering over them. Well, the thing is, I don't do it in my backyard. Ah. The park? I do it in the forest, and people look at oh. me, look at me, like I'm absolutely insane. Oh, man. Well, that makes sense. That, oh. You make dinosaur videos, you must be insane. Hey, well, at least I know. when I was making my music video for my diss track... Uh, we, we used to live right next to a forest, and it's it's kind of like not many people nobody. going there, so there was nobody yeah. there. It was in and there with the thing is my, mask. And I think it's my forest, in very big quotation marks, is really just a dog walking park. Oh. oh. It's more like a bike trail. <laughs> and I want to Everett! fucking kill myself, kill myself every single time I hear about it. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I have filmed one full episode. I'll be heading back for a game over the weekend in the half term. I have most of the second episode scripted. I just need to script a few more lines and then I'll probably be done okay. on the second episode. That's pretty cool. Are you gonna be are you gonna be kind of like that cool British guy who who does all the documentaries and goes, There is the African wild dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is when I write scripts, most of the time I'm watching something to take inspiration. And one of the main things that I watch while scripting is Richard Attenborough documentaries, who is the guy who you who is the guy who were who you were trying to impersonate. Oh yeah. I think he does the Planet Earth ones as well. <laughs> if, if I'm going past a, a prehistoric planet, I have other things planned as well. Mm -hmm. Because, because in the meantime, I, I have this sort of like spy movie. I know it sounds cringy. I haven't come up with an actual name for it. I, I need to. I need a few weeks to come up with with more story ideas and to come up with with the actual name of a movie. It, it, and and when that and Peter Stock Planet is over and done with, I will try to go onto something which I passionately really want to do. Right. Uh, do you get? Do you give any hints for it, or do you want to keep it a secret? No, no, I can say it. I've said it on somebody else. I've said it on somebody's stream. Oh. Uh, because we're basically, in the first few months of my channel, there was this show trending in the, in the community called Mesozoic Bedroom. Mm -hmm. That was basically going to take my own... I'm go and I was basically going to make my own version called Carnival Wars. I made, I made three teaser trailers for it. And uh, and I and I never got into making it, oh. and 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 now a year later, I I'm 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 planning on basically rewriting it and reformatting it, because mm. it, ah. it was originally going to take place inside of my house. Since I've gone outside and filmed for Prehistoric Planet, I've decided that this series. I have no gone... shame. Mm -hmm. If, 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 and I've decided that this series is going to take place outside. Bum -bum. And, and, and And basically, I know it sounds really weird from this, because it's very hard to, to explain just off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. uh, all I have to say is that I'm taking really big inspirations from Transformers, because I've really wanted to include Transformers into my work. Mm -hmm. Any 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 chance I get, I include Transformers. This part is going to be definitely, and my this project is going to be highly inspired by Transformers. It's going to focus on the effects of war, and and how and how war changes people. All right. You know what you should do? You would say Reborn did and do the dinosaurs meets Thomas the Tank Engine thing. <laughs> 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 no, you should you should do Woods meets Halo too. <laughs> Straight off of Pumpkin King. Uh. Toy Story meets Annabelle. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. So uh, once again, the awkward silence. Yeah. Do do uh, hey. do you have anything else you want to talk about, or do you want to just end it now? Oh, dude, we still got thirty minutes. It's uh, we're forty-five minutes into the recording right now. I say we should keep. Keep her going for a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 just keep on going until we get this over an hour. Yeah. Have any 
Do you have any questions for us? How about that? Yes, I have. I have a question for Lucitorus T Rex and yep. Trex. Jacob's notorious T Rex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jacob's notorious T Rex right here. And I'm just gonna change to that. And All right. Uh, what what's the question? Okay, my question is, who the f are you? Because I've got no bloody idea who any of you are. <laughs> All right, I'm yeah. a I'm a very famous YouTuber who has one video over 15 after, subscribers. Uh, yeah, and over 15 <laughs> subscribers. I'm really stacked out there. We're um, we're we're basically real life friends of Pumpkin King. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much what we are. No, oh, let's well, say that. Um, we're not real life friends with Pumpkin King. <laughs> 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 We're only we're only friends with Velocity for the views since he has yeah, hundred subscribers. Yeah, yeah, we're only friends with that that little idiot for some views, dog. Even though my even though my content is nothing like his. Yeah. Your your oh. one video. My one freaking CS video. His yeah. one CS:GO video that isn't even about dinosaurs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should just make it about dinosaurs now. Just start yeah. making dinosaur action figures. See it? No, yeah. let's go do a let's do a CS:GO a CS:GO video, but we're all making dinosaur noises. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should just C make a CS:GO like CS:GO, that. but all of our callouts are dinosaur noises. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ones. <laughs> That means that means smoke. <laughs> smoke, eh? <laughs> Which means um, flashbang. And <laughs> means enemy spotted. I just gained cancer from one word. I don't think that was even possible. Oh, that's not good. Ah. <laughs> uh. And then uh, Velocity, he like we said, he does uh, Roblox videos. So yeah, basically my channel started out with me doing Lego gun videos because I was into that, and then now I then I stopped uploading. Then I started making Roblox videos, and now I'm bored of the Roblox videos, so I'm just making random parody videos or whatever. Wait a second, are you the guy which has this very bad drawing of a Doge for his? Yes. yes. For his yes. channel yes. logo. Well, well, I am subscribed to you then. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's hot! That's hot! <laughs> Can't made it in the community. Yes. Yeah. He's now officially in the Zane Reborn community. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, I want to actually kind of talk more on that. So, um... I know I I read this one comment where there was these two guys. They were talking about how they were in like a model train store, and how much they hate kids because they ruin their the layouts. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you showed me that. I I have not seen this. What, wait, what is this about? Is it just like a guy ranting about kids liking trains? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's actually, like, like you, have to be, you have to be over like 11 or 10 years old to like trains because you, you're the actually understand them. That's that's just yeah. like me as a kid buying a Lego set, building it once, and then taking it apart to make mocks. Yeah. That, that's okay though, because oh you're, you're just a kid. Yeah. And I thought collecting dinosaur figures was sad. No, some still of these people. Sad. It's still pretty sad. Some of these people sometimes. <laughs> You're the one that collects Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> you can't I'm talking talk. about like criticizing. It's not Thomas, Thomas toys. They're they're models. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Fine, you collect the models. Oh. <laughs> 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 They cost over 70 bucks, they're clearly models. They're you not for kids. They're not for kids! That's, uh, that's, that's actually true. That is ultra sad. <laughs> that's sadder than having, like, boy models. Or whatever they're called. And I thought, and, 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 I, and I thought I was bad spending 25 figure, and I thought it was bad spending 25 pounds on a figure. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, also, I also you buy more figures though. Mhm. Mm True. Yeah. And to yeah. complete yeah. silence. I love how active mm -hmm. this podcast is. Yeah, I know. It is pretty. It's, it's pretty good. It's not, we have good sometimes hosts. Sometimes we just. Yes, clearly. Hey, at, we're at least we're missing the one really quiet one that doesn't the say The one that thing. doesn't talk whatsoever. Like. He never wants to do it. He never talks. Yeah. It, it, like, if we start talking about Star Wars, this is him. Get up, dead silence. <laughs> Come on. Maybe. But maybe he just doesn't like you. Yeah, that's probably yeah, yeah. true. That's probably, yeah. he, he's more of a. He's more of a, a normie. Yeah. yeah. All he does whenever he we're playing. Any... Yeah. Whenever we're playing video he games, he just sits there on his phone, Snapchatting women. Doesn't collect. <laughs> he doesn't collect. He doesn't collect Legos. He doesn't collect dinosaurs. He doesn't collect trains. I mean, what's with them? Yeah, I know. Like, is he? Is he not? It's like he has a wife or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the heck? Is he one of those sports maniacs? No. Oh. Actually, he does sports, but he's he doesn't really care for it. Oh. Actually, the reason he's not in the podcast is because he's at a wrestling tournament or whatever. Yeah. Oh, doxing that he does wrestling. Doxer. Oh, I, I sorry. I meant to, I meant to say football practice. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of February, you're right. <laughs> maybe 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 they think it's football season. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Oh wait, Brits. The Brits think it's um football. We're talking about American football, not soccer. Yeah. We're we're oh, yeah. not we're football. not British normies. We're, we're not we're not we're not um special. You know. How do you feel me roasting you just now? <laughs> I've, I've got the Shots what's fired. Going Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. He, he. Yeah. He's he's crying right now. I can tell. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I want to talk about, um, who's your favorite CEO? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My, mine right now is Jeff Bezos, you know, um, probably, probably the owner of Amazon. He's going to take us on. He's going to take us over with the drone, so this is going to be, on, I'm yeah. going to be on his good side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I say my favorite CEO has to be my boy Phil Swift, CEO of Flex Seal. <laughs> yeah. Phil Phil Swift's I... pretty epic, to be fair. As for mine, my my would have to be Elon Musk oh, or yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Good, that, those are some good choices. Oh, yeah. I'll get a muskrat and the Zuck. <laughs> I love that man, Bill Gates. Oh, man. If he's a CEO, I don't know if he is. Yeah, uh, actually, kind of. is, he, is he a CEO? Maybe. I think we should yeah, know. He's he not right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. he used to be. He's like the, we'll he's say, like the we'll co-founder of he Microsoft is. or something. He's just he is. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. He used yeah, to be a yeah. CEO. I, actually, I think my favorite CEO has to be Susan Wohicki. Oh, God. Yes, we're making YouTube great again. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, have you guys heard about the story... About how Susan's would a wadget wad, uh, I, 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 I don't think pronounce. anybody can pronounce her name. Yeah. Yeah. How Susan's uh, 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 how Susan's children told her that YouTube rewind was cringy. <laughs> I did hear about that. <laughs> oh my I'm not god! Kidding you. She recently <laughs> she recently revealed this, and that's the fact that. <laughs> Her children oh my God. walked up to her one day and told her, Eh, hey, ma'am, did, did uh, you, you know YouTube Rewind 2018? It is cringy. Hey. It is cringy as I have access content. <laughs> hey, 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 mom, where's PewDiePie in YouTube Rewind? Oh, man. <laughs> hey, mom, wait. Oh, you don't do Where's Logan and Jake Paul? Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> Kind of dab on the in braille. <laughs> dabs in braille. Dabs in braille. Watches a looks at a dead body in Spanish. 
Uh, visual Looks confusion. Looks a dead body. It's time to get some views. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta upload this to my channel. That's a great idea. Throwing Pokeballs at cars in Japan. I choose you. I choose you. God, good God, I just despise the polls. Yeah. I think what? I well, okay. I'm a little gangster. Okay. Jake, I'm a little gangster I life. think I think Jake Paul really redeemed himself making the uh, the the gambling video. Did no yes. Logan Paul redeemed himself? Oh yeah, somewhat dude. Lo by doing okay, that Logan thing Paul. Where it was like, go check out my merch, and when you yeah. clicked it, it subscribed to PewDiePie. Yeah, Logan Paul yeah. went from negative five thousand respect to zero respect. From that. <laughs> yeah, he saved himself by doing that. At least somewhat, not completely. I showed you in that risk. Was it bad that in um, September of 2017, I did watch Logan Paul before the dead body incident? Oh my gosh. I, I never watched his YouTube. I watched his Vines. I watched it. I watched it. And then um, the video, the original video where he said he was getting an STD check. That's when I'm like, oh, no, I can't watch this. <laughs> and I just stopped. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I have two things to say. I have two things to say about this whole entire Logan Paul thing. That's the fact that I have two different friends who watch him. Oh, boy. oh no! Two. I have I think an that's internet too, too many. Internet friend who is twelve, and 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 okay, he was there. twelve is fair. Twelve is fair. I, uh, and the thing is, he knows about the entire suicide thing, and he still oh. watches them. Oh man. Thing. That, that was just survival of the fittest at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just one day, just one day, oh, this car's gonna go hit him. I, I want to hit him. And I have this friend in real life who have known since oh. primary school, and I, and I was walking my dog, and I walked past his house, and I looked through the window, and I saw him sitting on a couch. Watching Logan Paul on his TV. Oh boy! Oh my uh, gosh! I I just looked Garen... up Logan Paul's channel and he still gets a couple million views a video even after that situation. God, he doesn't. Ha... Why is anybody watching him? I don't know, man. Pretty confusing. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. How it stupid would you have to be to watch somebody after they filmed a dead body? <sighs> And the thing is, I'm I, I'm pretty sure if I remember cor correctly, after the whole Suicide Force situation, like his first vlog back, he like tased a dead animal or something. <laughs> yes, he rat. tased a dead rat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that pissed Peter off. Oh yeah, you, you can't you can't you can't piss Peter, Peter off. Yeah, if you do, you're dead. <laughs> Peter. The the only thing worse than pissing off Peter is pissing off the flat earthers community. True. Oh. That Logan Paul joined in on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did or, uh, or or the LGBT community. Also, he joined on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I still I still have to say how how does anybody still think that the world is round? I mean, I mean flat. I don't what? know. What? Clearly, clearly the, the, the world is the, 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 the shape of a velociraptor. It's the shape of the Velocity Channel logo. <laughs> <laughs> Dogehead. Just a crappy drawn dogehead. <laughs> and England is the nose. <laughs> oh, England is the city. If it weren't for Team Ten. What are your thoughts on Jake Paul then? Because you were you were talking about How about Nick Crompton? Another English boy. Oh yes, yes. What are your thoughts on Nick Crompton? Nick Crompton is a disgrace to Britain. <laughs> <laughs> do, do British people not like to keep their collars popping? First off, no, we don't. <laughs> and English second people of all, rap, and, he, and, and, and not even from, from Compton. Compton. Yes, yeah, in England, I don't think so. It's, it's, and 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 the Compton is as as big as a joke as our prime minister and as Brexit. Because <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes Brexit. I'll tell you mm. that. Yeah, people want to leave the EU, right? If, if, yes, people want. To, if, I think is most people. I'm I'm just thinking for a second because it was like what a year ago, and I don't know. I'm trying to think because I've because I've, I've, I've got a very bad memory once my family. 
the majority of the vote was to leave the EU. Yes. Hmm. Which and is a good is... thing, because then you won't have to deal with Article 13. Oh, yes. That, uh, what are your, I don't know if this is going to affect you, but what are your thoughts on Article 13? First off, I hate Article 13. And the thing is, if Article 13 does get passed, it probably will affect the UK even after we leave. Yeah. It will affect oh. the entire world, man. No, America will we're just not use their see a lot shotguns of... and ARs to we're shoot them a... We're not going to see Dan and Phil anymore. How are you supposed to watch them? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me when my friend uh, showed me Dan and Phil one time, like a year ago or something. I, I used to watch them a lot when I was younger, and now their channels are pretty much just dead, and I've stopped watching them. Yeah. They're going on tours. <laughs> I don't think I ever really watched them. Yeah, I, I watched I did, like, literally watch one video. I used to watch them. Hmm. I used to watch Smosh till they became crap. Uh, yeah, after, after, oh yeah, oh. El Smosh. Really, El, El Smosh is still good though. Yeah, yeah, El Smosh is beautiful, honestly. I used to watch Smosh as well, and the thing is, I have a friend who I call Mini Adam, because he has the same exact name as me, but, but only how he's a dwarf. Whoa, did you just dox your name? I, 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 I don't care, people know my name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think I knew his name. Ah. Uh. Anyways, he, he was a really bad, he was a really big Smosh fan as well. And, and, and I personally think Smosh died when Anthony left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Sorry, I thought they died in Don't, 2015. Dude, yeah, I honestly, died. I thought they died when they started adding, like, the new characters. I honestly thought but, it was only really good when it was just Anthony and Ian. I thought they died they when they made that every blank ever. That's... Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know what the, the best series To be they fair, had, though, I'm pretty sure every blank ever basically revived their channel. I'm pretty sure it was, like, basically dead before they made you know the series. You know what the <laughs> best series that they made ever was? What? what? Food Battles. Oh, for my God. Oh, yes. yes. I love those so much. Uh, I remember one time I was, in, I was at Disney World, and I wanted the Pink Frosted Sprinkled Donut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never got but... one. After I saw that, every time I went to like a, a Dunkin' Donuts or something, I was like, I want a, pr uh, a prink pink frosted sprinkled donut. <laughs> Shut up! I'm gonna oh slay my... you. Oh my god! I yeah, used to love them. Yeah. <sighs> I miss them. If I could, uh, add, not... like, go ahead. No, 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 no! You, I insist. <laughs> no, I insist. Go ahead, sir. I, I go insist. forever if you keep going. No. Hey, Dominic, I am you British, going, I am polite, I'll let you go first. Yeah, but the thing I wanted to say was stupid, so you go ahead and <laughs> say what you had to say. <laughs> stupid, just like your channel. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, good riddance. <laughs> I'm back. Are you guys still making fun of me? Oh no, you been making fun of yourself, because your channel's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just leaves. <laughs> uh, uh, how many, back times, for you, second, how many times are you going to leave and come back? I don't know yet. Until, you <laughs> Until we stop making, making fun, of fun of him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to start crying. What What it's channel fun. do you miss the most? Like, out of channels that kind of fell off? Ooh... That's a hard question because there's a damn lot of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you need time to think, I can say one of mine. I got one. Okay. This channel most likely didn't go off track. It's most likely because I grew up. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because when I was younger... Be, it, it because, because when I was younger, t did you guys ever play ever play Skylanders? Oh, oh yes. Man. Skylanders. Mm, I, 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 I used to really want to play it at my friend's house. I whenever only played I played the first game, though. 
I, I, I kept playing till like the second or third game and then it started falling off. I've played every single game. In fact, I have a an opened one looking at me right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's more and... of a Disney Infinity Man myself. Yeah, no one likes you. <laughs> yeah, true. Sorry that I get to play as Boba Fett. Yeah, I'm sorry that I get to play as freaking Spyro. 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 I'm sorry that they ruined Spyro and Skylanders. You want to actually duel right now? Let's go. All right, let me go get my belly blade. <laughs> well, anyways, let me split this up because I don't want anybody to get game ended just yet. All right. All right, all right. All right. Our well, podcast. because. Be, it, because when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of Skylander, Boy and Girl, and FGTV. Oh, FGTV. My brother's addicted to them. Slay! Uh -huh. Slay! Slay, Slay all, all day! I've <laughs> been grinding since day one. Oh, man. I used to watch them a lot when I was younger. And now, and, and it, it, it's even because their content is even worse now. Mm. Well, what? Probably that. Yeah. And the content is still bad. Yeah. I, I think the cha one of the channels I miss the most, uh, I used to be really into Call of Duty Zombies, and there was this YouTuber who was, like, probably the biggest Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber at the time called uh, Syndicate Project. Mm -hmm. And he did a lot Chris of, like, Syndicate. Call of Duty Zombies live streams and stuff. And I was a huge fan of him, but then he started playing Minecraft and then started doing a vlog channel or something and just kind of stopped watching him. <sighs> if I would have to pick one, uh, I feel like Vanoss has kind of fallen off a bit. Mm -hmm. I loved him a, long, a while ago, but recently it's just been like the same exact videos Yeah, his, over his and videos over are again. really just the same thing over and over yeah, it mm. started, and he he doesn't have like the best people playing with him because they all switched to Fortnite and oh stuff. Oh my gosh, Wildcat! Yeah, they he, they lost a for, they lost uh Wildcat. I'm base basically I do work. They lost many to many. You know, they, they just pretty much yeah they lost <laughs> many. <laughs> And then, yeah. I, and then, um, uh, Louis just stopped uploading. Yeah. Louis just stopped uploading. Every once in a while, he's he's in there, but not often. Yeah, I'd have to say Vanos because he's falling off a tiny bit. I gotta okay. say, um, my boy Beijing Canadian barely oh, breaking a thousand views. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh. wait, really? Wait, wait I gotta wait. check this. He he is not that popular now. Dude, Dude, last I, time I, I checked, like Beijing a year Canadian. ago, he was like barely breaking a hundred thousand. Is he really I only getting a thousand? Oh no, uh, he's somewhere. getting like 50, 60,000, but he's playing Fortnite now. Oh, how, he said he oh, was going to switch Beijing back Canadian to Minecraft. Off. No, most recent video. Oh wait, no, I guess he may have made a new channel or something because his last Beijing video was a month ago. Fortnite creative and more. Give me a second. Does he have a second channel? Doesn't Dude, I'm like just uh, no, I don't think so because yeah. his uh, on his Minecraft YouTube uh on his like um. Uh, it's, Minecraft it's, Hunger Games videos. It has the Bayesian Fortnite, Fortnite game. thing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I gotta start rewatching some of those Hunger Games videos because I love those. Yeah, they were pretty nice. Yeah. So, uh, I guess thanks for watching this uh, this episode. Everyone's mm -hmm. links in the description. So, uh, and it's been great being here. Yeah, yep, thanks it's been for great coming. You here. So, uh, yeah. But by Epic Gamers, I guess. I don't. I don't know yeah, what our outro is. 